If you feel lost in the forex market and you don't know what to look, what to trade, or which pair you want to trade uh, in a certain day, kindly watch this video to the end because I'll be giving you a secret on how to overcome that feeling of feeling you're lost and you don't know what to do. So guys, this, in this video, I want to give you step-by-step procedure or something that you can do when you don't know what to look we don't know even which pair to trade so let's continue uh with the video so uh, in this video i want i want you you write down five pairs and i'll tell you why i've picked the five pairs i'll start with gbp card i'll give you uh you will look when you don't know what to trade go to gbp card and then the other one is usd card and then the other one is Euro Audi. The other one is GBP, GBP Audi. And the last one is GBP NSD. These five pairs, if you don't know what to start or how to start your day, I will highly suggest that you look into these pairs. Why? Because there's something I will teach you and it will be very profitable if you follow to the end. So when we have, let me space them out. Let's paste them out. So I hope you have written this pair down. And sometimes you come to the chat and you don't know what to look. Because let me tell you what happens. Many people are used to trade Euro USD, GBP USD, Audi USD. And then when those markets are not moving, they 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 get to a place where they feel stuck. So I want to give you other five currencies that you can trade as you wait for your major pairs to give you opportunity. Why have I chosen the five pairs? Why have I chosen GBP card, USD card, Euro Audi, GBP Audi, and GBP NSD? Because they do one thing. They do, they have one thing in common, and that is they are very volatile, but they don't move when people want them to move. These pairs, they don't just move. So if you just come in, uh, if you say, I trade GBP card, that's my best pair every day, you'll be disappointed. Why? Because it does not move when you want it to move. It moves when everyone is not looking at it. So I want to give you even a, a way of having a uh, having a structure that will guide you. And in this case, we'll use for, we'll use daily time frame so one thing that gbp card and usd card have in common is when you buy gbp card you come here and buy usd card you see usd card and gbp card they move the same why because the card here is the quote and usd card here is the quote all you need to know is if you have one setup of GBP card, you can automatically do the other trade on USD card. And then the other three, if you buy Euro Audi, GBP Audi will be buying, GBP NSD will be buying. If you sell Euro Audi, GBP Audi will be selling and GBP NSD will be selling. They move in opposite, uh, they move in the same direction. And this is what I give you guys. If let's say you have a good setup on GBP card and you're not even aware what USD card will do, automatically you'll know this thing, uh, because they move the same, you will have a good setup. So let me give you, with. let's start with GBP card. This is what you do when you don't have anything, when you don't have anything to trade and you feel lost let me show you quickly so you will open you will open your chart you will open your chart like that this is gbp card go to daily and try to see i've told you these pairs they, they don't move when people want them to move but they are very profitable so what you do you just uh analyze this pair and you can only do something as uh, you can only execute when it has done uh, what you have said so you go to daily we can see buyers have been trying to push this market from here but we have seen sellers coming in and the last candle is this doji that buyers were unable to push that market so all you need to do at this moment you'll come and pick your box you can see that doji you will just put like that so you'll say i don't trade gbp card but i wouldn't mind if this box is broken on the upward side to get in a buy position or it is broken on downside to get on a sell position and this analysis the market has to break with daily candle so when you do when you have something uh 
on a side like a pair on a side that you trade maybe you trade this pair on a on a side you don't trade it every day you will get that chance because you don't you will not be in a wrong direction so you'll get this you'll get a you'll get an opportunity very quickly rather than someone who is forcing in trades so even if you go to four hours you can see the market has been in one place you can see the market has been in one place it's not moving so what we mean is that this market eventually will break this box and that's where you come in so even if you don't have something to trade that day and then you go to gbp card and then you put this you don't want to trade it that time because there's no opportunity you'll put that box and say if i come every day and i see maybe a certain day the box has been broken on the upward i will enter buy if it is broken on the downside i'll enter sell so let's continue let's continue to let's continue to to what to usd card let's continue to usd card so here is usd card again go to daily you can see this i've told you they move the same direction and that's the beauty of it so you will pick uh, that doji you put it in a box and then you're not in a hurry to to place any trade remember you feel lost you don't know what to do just put that box and again say if the market break my zone if the market break my zone let me put that box if the market break my zone i'm entering i'm entering by if it if it breaks my zone i'm entering by if it breaks here on the downside i'm entering sale so at this moment you are not forcing any trade let's go to euro audi i've told you euro audi gbp audi and gbp nsd they move the same direction so if i delete all what i've done and go to daily you can see the red candle is what you had on friday so this is what the sellers tried to push the market down but they were unable so you'll come here and say if I, I will participate in this market, if it breaks on the upside, I'm entering buy. If it breaks on the downside, I'm entering sell. And this is very easy. Remember, the market can consolidate here for a whole week. That helps you in one thing. It helps you fast. You will not be tempted. You will not be tempted to come in and sell when the market has not broken the box. So it helps you. It prevents you from wrong entry. And remember this pairs you don't even trade them so this is what you do you only use one time frame daily time frame now let's go to gbp audi gbp audi you can see buyers have been trying to come in and you can say on friday this is what i saw i saw buyers coming in and they were unable to push that market forward so what does that mean what does that tell me what does this mean it means if this market breaks that box the buyers have have control over this week if they don't and sellers break this box i have a chance to sell it's that easy when you want to trade pairs that you don't even you have never paid attention and you will not there won't be any pressure so uh again gbp and sd you can see this big momentum this big momentum uh, that was left here on uh on uh, on on monday on friday you can see if if today we can have even a uh a trade gbp and sd you can see it is almost breaking that box if it breaks that box you can enter buy if it breaks below you can enter sell and i've given you five pairs five good pairs when you don't have anything to trade and the, the good thing these pairs even if it moves 10 20 pips they are very very profitable these pairs they are very very profitable even if they move uh how many pips 10 pips they are very very profitable so guys that was my video if you like this video don't don't fail to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you'll be observing these pairs and if you'll be getting chances to get in. Thank you so, thank you so much. Until next time, bye-bye.